Hello students, this is Pathology Chapter 6, Part 1, Genetics. The terminology that you need to know for genetics is extensive and this will be a review since you've had this subject in other classes. Genetics itself means the inheritance and expression of inherited traits. A syndrome is a distinctive association of signs and symptoms which occur together. Phenotype is the physical, biochemical, and physiologic traits of an individual. Basically what that means is the way the genes are expressed. In other words, what you see, such as brown eyes versus blue eyes. The genotype is the sum total of genes transmitted from parent to offspring, which is the actual genetic makeup. So a person with a brown-eyed parent and a blue-eyed parent genotypically would have both the brown and blue eye genes, but phenotypically would have brown eyes because brown eyes are dominant. The gene is the hereditary unit which is transmitted from one generation to the next. Chromosomes are the small bodies in the nucleus of a cell that carry the chemical instructions for reproduction of the cell, the forming of the body and its organs, and also other cellular functions. Chromosomes contain DNA, which direct the production of amino acids, polypeptides, and proteins by the cell. DNA has the ability to duplicate itself. The chromosomes are basically the blueprint of how to make the body. The simple version of cell division is that in mitosis, which is the way that normal body cells divide and replicate, there are stages, the first called prophase, which is where the chromatin condenses into chromosomes with two identical copies called sister chromatids. In metaphase, the centromeres line up at the center of the cell. In anaphase, the sister chromatids are pulled apart to opposite sides of the cell. In telophase, that's when the what was once a single cell splits and forms two identical cells. Meiosis is the two-step cellular division of the primitive or original germ cells, which reduces the number of chromosomes by half. That way, the new individual receives half of its chromosomes from the mother via the egg and the other half from the father via the sperm. There is a link in YouTube that I have included here, which has a very interesting and simple animation. This is the, an image of an autosomal chromosome at metaphase. All chromosomes have short and long arms, the centromere, and this is known as a chromatid. This image shows a pair of autosomal chromosomes at metaphase. In meiosis, a two-step cellular division occurs which reduces the number of chromosomes by half and produces mature either eggs or sperm. This process is necessary to maintain the normal number of human chromosomes at 46, half from the mother and half from the father. The terms diploid means having two sets of chromosomes, haploid means having a single set of chromosomes, and all gametes are haploid. There is a YouTube link that will be helpful. It shows a very nice short animation. Genes and chromosomes. The term alleles refers to the genes that are located at the same locus in homologous chromosomes and that dictate the same functions or characteristics. 
when allelic genes are identical, the person is homozygous for that gene. When allelic genes are different, the person is heterozygous for that gene. This image shows genes and chromosomes. You can see that DNA is a combination of amino acids. As it coils down and condenses down, you have the genes, which are nucleotides that are expressed in the real world, and they wind and wind and wind and wind some more until you have the chromosomes that are seen under a microscope, which contain billions of these strands. A dominant trait is one that is manifested when it is carried by only one of a pair of homologous chromosomes. A recessive trait is manifested clinically when a double gene dose in the autosomal chromosomes or a single dose in males if the trait is X-linked. Chromosomal abnormalities can occur on the molecular or gross level. Clinical syndromes resulting from gross chromosomal abnormalities include Down syndrome, trisomy 13, Turner syndrome, Kleinfelter syndrome, or Cri du Chat and Wolf-Hirschbaum syndrome. The down syndrome we have studied in other chapters. Some of the oral facial characteristics are fissured tongue, gingival and periodontal disease, hypodontia, abnormally shaped teeth, and anomalies in eruption with malposition and crowding of teeth are common. In trisomy 13, the facial clinical characteristics include bilateral cleft lip and palate, microphthalmia or anophthalmia, means, which means either small or missing eyes. Turner syndrome, the oral facial manifestations, are a high palatal vault and a hypoplastic or small mandible. In Kleinfelder syndrome, the maxilla is slightly hypoplastic. Credo shot, that is a syndrome where uh, the child has a cat-like cry at birth. In Wolf-Hirschhorn syndrome, there is a cleft palate as an oral manifestation. Patterns of inheritance. A trait can be inherited as dominant, recensive, X-linked. Uh, there's also genetic heterogeneity and some molecular chromosomal abnormalities. Inheritance of genetic traits. On the image on the left, you see the autosomal dominant inheritance pattern. You have an affected father and an unaffected mother. The affected father is blue, and it shows the children who are inheriting his genes. Since it is dominant, the father only has one, one gene here, the dark blue one. So he can pass the dominant gene on, and it usually occurs at 50% of the time, or he can pass the unaffected gene on. So the chances of affected children is about 50-50. In an autosomal recessive, the chances of being affected are fewer. There's only about 25% chance of being affected, 25% chance of being unaffected, and 50% chance of being a carrier of the trait. Penetrance refers to the number of individuals that are affected by a particular gene. Expressivity pertains to the degree to which an individual is affected. 
lack of penetrance means that when an individual carries a gene, it does not present any clinical manifestation. The term consanguinity refers to a familial relationship. X-linked inheritance. Women have two X chromosomes and they may be either heterozygous or homozygous for a gene that is located on the X chromosome. Men have only one X and one Y chromosome. If a deleterious or harmful gene occurs on the X chromosome in a male, the condition or trait will be seen clinically regardless of the dominant or recessive behavior of the same gene in women. This image shows the inheritance pattern for sex-linked traits. At the top of the page, it shows the penetrance for X-linked dominant with the affected mother on the left and X-linked dominant with the affected father on the right. In the bottom, it shows an X-linked recessive with a carrier mother since it is recessive, the mother would not be affected. On the bottom right, it shows an X-linked recessive with the affected father because since it is an X chromosome, then the father would always be affected if he carries it. The Lyon hypothesis and X-linked recessive traits states that one of the X chromosomes in the female is genetically canceled at an early stage of embryonic development. This cancellation affects X chromosomes from both maternal and paternal lines. Genetic heterogeneity. Recessive means that the person must be homozygous for the trait in order for the trait to be seen or expressed physically. Oligogenic inheritance means that the characteristics or traits that are inherited by the participation of several genes, in other words, it takes several different genes to cause that characteristic to be seen. Genetic heterogeneity is when a condition has more than one inheritance pattern as well as differences in the degree of clinical manifestations for each of the inherited varieties. A single gene inheritance is a characteristic or trait that is inherited by the participation of a single gene. This concludes Pathology, Chapter 6. Part 1